What's up, Creek Squad? How's it going? It's your boy back at it again with another video. We got um <laughs> an interesting one today. Uh, one of you guys, actually several of you guys, sent me this uh, this link actually to kind of check out and react to. Uh, I had questions in an earlier video um, about some of the verses and Joe Meteorite and whatnot. I remember when I was reacting with the whole like you know screw face beef and blah blah. blah. Uh, screw face and uh, up church beef or whatever that was you know we, I, we already covered most of that but i guess this is a video uh that one of the verses referenced and i was kind of curious about it they sent it to me and i'm like oh okay i guess i'll check this out so that's today's tea i guess let's go ahead and uh react to this man he's a very funny dude so i'm actually mad curious to see uh <laughs> what how what, what this is all like you know about like why he got banned from Facebook. It, it, it is that true. I haven't gone on Facebook to see if he's there or not, but Creek Squad, man, let me know what's going on. <laughs> Anyways, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you are returning viewers, welcome back. Hashtag breaking in the comments down below to get shouted out in the beginning of my next video. Hey, 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 hey. All right, so let's go ahead and get in this video and see exactly what we're working with, man. <laughs> I hope this video triggers on you dumb sack of shits. But you know what? If it does, guess what? <laughs> I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> Live leak. Okay, so a bunch of morons walking around the street. It's obviously not daytime. They have nowhere to be tomorrow because they ain't got no fucking job, no responsibilities, and they're probably holding signs that they don't know what the fuck means. <laughs> Let me guess. It's some sort of fucking protest. I think it might be one of those. <laughs> Yo, I'm not going to lie, man. Every time I... <laughs> I've, I've seen protests like that, too. I was just talking to somebody about that. Uh, you know, when the Ferguson riots and stuff happened, right? I... Oh, man. I remember the first thing I said when it happened. I'm like, bro, when Chicago gets hold of this, they're going to try to use this as a cover for all the murders and stuff that they uh that, that are committed on a daily in chicago and sure enough that's exactly what kind of bullshit happened man everybody's like oh man like i was dead wrong blah 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 and i'm like bruh you literally shot up a whole store like that's why the cops have you on your fucking face bro like don't shoot up stores and maybe you won't get attacked <laughs> like what the fuck <laughs> But then I'm the bad guy because you're not supporting your own people, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not going to support support stupidity. <laughs> I'm not. It's dumb. If you're if you're like if you're causing a scene and destroying property and stuff, nobody I'm not going to sympathize with you at all, at all, like at all. <laughs> like, and I, I, so I understand, man. Like, it makes sense. Eltrish has a point, bro. Let me guess. You're probably going to stand in front of a car, aren't you? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh no. Oh god. All you hear in the background is <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. Homeboy does it. Honk honk. You know what that means. You know what that means. Somebody's about to get fucking ran over. Oh, I love these, yo. Because I, I, I remember, like, there were some people blocking, like, a bunch of cars in the middle of the street. And uh, I think it was actually during, uh, I forgot what happened. But I know, like, it, it was like something it happened in California. But, anyways, these guys were like, yo, get the fuck out of our way or we're going to run you over. And the, all these guys were blocking traffic. So they got ran the fuck over. And then they're all upset. They're like, we're going to sue you. Like, oh my God. Like, that's terrible. Why would you run somebody over? And I'm like, you're in the middle of a fucking highway. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? It's a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, so god I'm gonna just call it a thing. It's so goddamn big, bro. I don't know if it's a dude or a chick or fuck. <laughs> Who in the fuck does this Walmart at 3 a.m. in your pajamas looking ass bitch think she is? <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, no, don't listen to her. Yeah, yeah, do it, do it. What? Bruh, I'm telling you, that dude has more to lose than that chick. And I'm not talking about lawsuits. His car is literally going to disintegrate if he tries to run into that, like, brick-ass wall. Like, there's no there's, there's, there's no fighting it, man. Like, 
I mean, that's suicide. You try to drive into somebody that goddamn big, dude, you might as you're you're on the fast track to getting a new car. <laughs> I mean shit. I gotta make sure I put this on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Don't not do it. Come on, Wiggly Tough. Just send it. <laughs> Wiggly Tough. Bruh, I think the bitch is balding too. Like, fat, balding, and standing in front of the middle of the damn street. She looked like Snorlax, bruh. <laughs> Punch his hood. Show him who the fucking social justice warrior boss is. Oh my god. She looks like she's low key out of breath, though, too. What a dumb bitch. She's gonna make this man ruin his car. How rude. Oh my god. Wow. Stop honking your horn. You're probably vibrating that woman's dick. <laughs> Yo, I dead ass think I haven't seen this video, but I can only assume that she's about to get ran over. Like high key. It looks like that's what's about to go down. What do y'all think? <laughs> you guys have probably already seen this before. I have not seen this shit, so this is crazy. It's only gonna make Wiggly Tough more horny for violence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, people get so upset. Like, don't put yourself in harm's way. Then it's so stupid. Like, if you're, if don't walk into the middle of a busy ass road, right? Or even like the middle of the street where you clearly see cars coming, you know, coming and going and expect nothing to happen. That's on you. That's your fault. If you try to sue, you're gonna, that's a losing battle. Obviously the other person's gonna be in trouble if you die, but if you're in the middle of the street and you know, or just, and I, I guess for her, she's not technically in the middle of the street. She's just intentionally blocking his car. So I don't even know what what you classify that as, but it can't be right. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, if the dude ran her over, he wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> you know, like, I couldn't go. I mean, like, what if you had an emergency? Like, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> okay, go, go. Stop, 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 stop. If this somehow could be a Chrysler commercial, well, I would totally let them run ads on my YouTube. <laughs> 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 They're they're nice. They're way too nice. They're like gently pushing her out the way and stuff. I would have like, oh man, oh my god, man, man, man. I would have definitely handled that differently. Is all I can say. <laughs> this is the whoa, whoa, delivery. whoa, there. Whoa. Fuck you, no. Fuck you, Justice for Isaiah. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, Justice for Isaiah. Fuck you. Why don't y'all do? Okay, so uh, my 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 what I'm about to say before he starts talking. Um. I don't like I said if you're going to have justice for anybody a don't don't do that like what like there's so many ways to go about this where you don't have to infringe on random people you know random people like ob obstructing random people from doing things or destroying shit you know like cuz a lot of stuff was going on like oh man this dude died we got to go burn a whole city down again and blah 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 and I'm like, dude, don't do that shit. If, the, if it's a big problem, take it up with legal. Like, there's a legal team of people you guys can, like, make this a big deal with. And you can honestly protest, but you can protest in a way where you're not, you know, obstructing a whole bunch of, you know, shit. Like, you can be on the side of the street. Whenever um, the, the teachers union, right, like, you know, fucking uh, sort of protesting. Every time I see them protest, they're on the sidewalks. They're holding up signs, and they're not, like... They're not blocking people or haggling people or anything. They're just, they have the signs up. They're exercising their First Amendment rights. So that's a peaceful way to do that shit. Now, don't call it a peaceful protest when you're blocking like damn near every met zone of fucking traffic, dude. Like, I get it. Your point is to send a, make, make a message. But, bro, like, you, you could be hindering so many people that actually have legit emergencies. People have to work. Like, Oh, you ever think of that? Like that's that's some that's some horse shit, man. Like I I'm not with that. I'm honestly not. There are other ways. There are obviously other ways you could handle this. But let me let our church talk, man. I'm, I'm curious to see what he has to say. He might say something that I would I wouldn't, I wouldn't even thought of saying. You know. Some justice for y'all's damn self, and go home and go to bed, you fucking crackheads. Oh my oh, god. Fuck you. Fuck you. Justice for Isaiah. 
All right, listen here, Becker Wood. I don't know who Isaiah is, and I don't know why y'all need justice for him, but I don't think standing in front of fucking cars in traffic helps anything. Which one of you momo-ass ratchet lot lizards come up with this fucking solution anyway? You know what? We should do something to help Isaiah's family. Like, like stand in front of a car. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if people were really like adamant about helping him and getting justice, maybe they should check and see if the family's okay. Maybe they should send the family like, you know, like, you know, groceries or something or food or open a GoFundMe page, something constructive, you know, like so it doesn't look as wild, I guess, because then like nobody's going to take anything seriously. Like, seriously, I'm not going to take it seriously. Like, what, what? Come on now. Oh, uh, maybe we should just like stand in traffic in front of cars. That'll show them. Jesus. I mean, you could have started a GoFundMe page or collected money around y'all's local. What did I say? What did I say? I fucking said it. Oh my God. All right. I said it. I, I just said it. Hey, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. It makes too much sense, though, so people don't do it. <laughs> Story of my life. You know, talked about it at church on Sunday and got donations. But no, no. Stand in fucking traffic in the middle of the night, you fucking idiots. <laughs> I am gonna tell you, at two miles an hour, it's still an assault. This dude said at two miles an hour, it's still an assault. Oh my God, the cringe. The cringe, the cringe. Two miles an hour is still an assault. First of all, it's not an assault if the person is putting themselves in your way. If I'm trying to walk to get to, let's say, a coffee shop and somebody is walking in front of me like this and I'm trying to get around them but they keep blocking my path and if they say, oh, if you touch me, that's assault. Dude, I could assault you. You're threatened. I mean, like, it's not even like a threat, but like you're preventing me from continuing my day, right? Like it's harassment. And like, I can try to get somebody to talk to, but if you're always my, you, I'm gonna fight. I'm, I'm honestly gonna fight. I mean, like I said, these guys are handling a lot better than I would have. I would, I would have exploded, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I would have like, what? Get out of my way. Ah, I gotta go somewhere. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Zero miles an hour, standing in the street, still fucking dumb. Now get it on camera. Justice for Isaiah. Justice for Isaiah. Come on, Ricky Bobby, it's now or never. If you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Damn. What the fuck? She seems surprised. How unrealistic of her. <laughs> well, I mean, what did you expect? <laughs> you stood in front of a fucking car. The car tried to even warn them, like, hey, guys, move. We're, we have to be somewhere. I don't have time for this shit. Like, it's so stupid. I freaking told you he was gonna send it. Kids, don't follow these fucking rejects to be on Facebook, get some likes. Yeah. Be a normal fucking human being. Stay out of the street. Get your sleep. Wake up. Go to your job. Have responsibilities. Have goals. Have a cool life. And don't be like these fucking momo ass crackers. <laughs> All righty. Uh, awesome. So that was lit. That was uh, Up Church's. Uh, I guess that's the post that got Upchurch banned from Facebook. I mean, Facebook is very, I think, I don't know. I don't want to put political stuff in here, but I will say it is definitely pushing a certain agenda for sure. And uh, we can all agree on that. With that being said, it's kind of hard to post the truth sometimes or just your opinion on matters on different platforms when they're, I guess, motivated politically or something like that. So... Yeah, that's all I got to say about that. But I do agree with what he was saying. I, he literally said what I was saying like as I was talking and stuff, man. Like, fuck, that's crazy. The world's a crazy fucking place. People will do anything for clout, and people will do anything to get, like, wild, crazy attention. This is – if you're going to – like, if there's an issue, right, you have an issue about something, you can protest, but there's a way to do it. There's a way to actually go about – getting what you want to have accomplished where you don't have to do any of that like you could literally there's a lot of behind the scenes work that people don't do research into at all like like i said something simple you don't even have to look that deep into is starting a gofundme page if you're trying to support somebody especially if they died like that's the first thing that people are going to need is fucking money like for a funeral at least like help them out with that instead of causing chaos and making like that per the, the death of like a family member the worst thing for everybody else on the planet because now everybody else feels anguish because their whole days got ruined and shit. And I understand the family might be going through some stuff, but don't make it hard on everybody else because they're going to make it 
five, t- ten times harder on the family <laughs> of the person who lost, you know, a, a, a son, daughter, or mother, father, or whatever. So, anyways, I'm just saying there's a different method of approach people can take, and they just choose not to take it. And I may, I've had this conversation with a lot of people, and people get offended every time I, I, I uh, have conversations with them. I'm, I'm respectful. I'm as respectful as possible. But then I'm like, man, like, it's so it's unfortunate. We live in a generation where if you have a different of opinion with anybody, they think that you're insulting them. And that's not the case. Like, I thought, you know, being an adult, people would understand everybody has different opinions and we can speak our opinions openly without anybody getting offended, right? Or taking it personal. But I guess there's really no difference between children and adults besides the fact that most adults have to pay a bills <laughs> and kids don't, hopefully. But that's pretty much it. If you comment down below if you agree. Uh, <laughs> Creek Squad, love you guys. You guys are always lit. Thank you for sending me that link. And I will see you guys in the near future with another banger. But until then, take care. Stay blessed. Peace.